The diameter of a circular disc is measured as, this is our D, and its uncertainty is 0 0.1. What is the area of the disc and the absolute uncertainty in the area? Let's think of how to get area first. Uh. Area is pi r square, or another form of it is pi d square over 4. That's how we calculate area. Maybe we try that first. So we find area equals to pi times 7.0 square over 4. Notice how I leave this in millimeter. You know why? Because when they ask for answers, their area also in millimeter square. So I don't need to convert to meter. I just, okay, la, keep everything in millimeter. Very good. This one will give me 38.5 millimeter square. So uh, yeah, this two is out already. Uh. So it's probably A or B. Now come the uncertainty. Here's one problem. We cannot just deal with the 0 0.11 and do all kinds of calculation here. Because this is in this 0 0.1 is in millimeter. But area is in millimeter square. It's a different unit. You cannot just use this. So whenever you have an equation like this, ask yourself, where does the error in A come from? A has error, uncertainty, because D has error. So I'm going to start off with the equation for uncertainty. We cannot use absolute uncertainty, oh, so we use the percentage or fractional uncertainty. So the, uns the fractional uncertainty of area is fractional uncertainty of diameter. But don't forget the square. The square means times 2. So we need to times 2. That is the first setup of the equation. Uh, other methods you all may come up with is uh, alternate way of writing this is in terms of percentage uncertainty. So percentage uncertainty in A is 2 times the percentage uncertainty in D. It's the same thing, but instead of percentage on the left, we use fraction. Okay, so remember, cannot use absolute uncertainty, you must use fractional uncertainty to combine the uncertainties. Okay, now we plug in the values. So uncertainty in A is what we want to find. A, we just put here 38.5, two times of the fractional uncertainty of diameter. So 0 0.1 divided by 7.0. That's from this value that they give us. Okay, calculator time, what we get for delta A? This one will be 2 times 0 0.1 over 7 times 38.5, 1.1 millimeter square. And this is plus minus. Uncertainty ma. But this one is 2SF ready. For final answer, we only need to write it in 1SF. So we're going to say like, oh, so just plus minus 1 lah. millimeter square. Okay, this is 1SF. Then your value, you have to round to follow the same basic. So 38 plus minus 1. Best choice, B. By the way, for those of you who chose to use percentage, you can also use percentage. Let me show you very quickly how the working would look like. So to find percentage, this will be 2 times 0 0.1 over 7 times 100 to convert to percent. How many percent is that? 0 0.1 over 7 times 100 times 2. It's like about 2.8586%. But this is a percentage in A. We need to find exact value. So what is the error? 2.86 of 3.85. How many? What is that? That's how you find the absolute uncertainty. So you're going to take 2.86 over 100 times the actual value of A. That's how you get your absolute uncertainty. So why don't we do that? 38.5 divided by 100. 1.1 1 .1 millimeter squared. So two methods. Up to you. Which one you want to use? Even better if you know how to use both. But that's all for this uncertainty question.